So we're at Alzheimer's Society headquarters to talk about dementia and technology. Uh, and with me is Eamon. Uh, Eamon, you've got early onset dementia. Tell us a bit about that. Yes, um, I was diagnosed three years ago. It was uh, early onset. It took a little bit of time to explain to the doctor and get the ball rolling. It took two years, in fact, for them to finally come to a conclusion and diagnose me. Um, first of all, I went to my doctor who didn't believe that early onset was existing, but we persuaded her. I then went to a memory clinic, went through the memory clinic, and then on to a neurologist. The whole journey took two years, but finally, when I had a PET scan, um, they finally decided on the uh, diagnosis was early onset dementia. I was diagnosed with temporal frontal lobal dementia and also cordial basal disintegration. And what are the symptoms of that? What, what's changed about what you can and can't do? Personality, um, my personality is much better now I'm on medication. I was on a very short fuse and very easy to uh, irritate. Now I find it's also difficult to um, walk any particular distance. Um, my mobility is quite impaired, but also my short term memory. Um, I can remember certain things. I remember watching the television last night and what program it was but I couldn't tell you what the story was because I can't remember that. A lot of people will say, oh, that's like me. Uh, you, you seem, to be honest, uh, mentally certainly not to be particularly affected by it, but to you, 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 you really feel it. Yes, indeed. Um, that's why early onset dementia is very hard because I don't look like somebody who's um, in their 80s or 90s with dementia, which is the uh, modern thing that people think dementia is, getting old, where it's not, is an illness of the brain. So being a young person with onset, it's difficult to explain to people um, because it's damaged. Um, I, I'm, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a quote from one of my uh, younger people. What does dementia look like? There's no face that you can actually say. There's a lot of stigma with it, so it's something that needs addressing. Well, I, I, I feel what you're saying as, as someone with Parkinson's problems is, is in some ways quite similar. It's about the brain and there's also quite a stigma attached to that. Uh, you'd like to change people to wake up and change their attitudes to dementia, obviously. Absolutely. Um, we've got so much left to give. Um, although we have problems with a short-term memory and things like that, don't wrap us in cotton wool. There is so much we can do for you. Um, we can educate you on how to communicate and how to deal with people with young onset, therefore make their life much more better. And one, one area is technology. You're already using technology, tell us about that. Absolutely. Um, first thing in the morning I've got uh, Alexa, which wakes me up on a set time because I enjoy routine. Uh, also to take, tells me to go downstairs and take my pills um, to make sure I take them. And I use my um, phone, uh, it does all my emails, does my appointments and reminds me to take my pills in the evening. I have a uh, wristband step camera, which also tells me and reminds me to take water, so I keep hydrated. Uh, my other piece of technology is a safety lifeline wristband called Tap to Tag. That's amazing, what does that do? It's got all my medical information on. It can be accessed, it can be accessed by the police fire brigade or the ambulance should I be involved uh, in an accident. It's got full medicational history, full medical history, so it saves time and also contact details of my doctor and my carer. So now we're going to get this prize that eventually is going to develop, we hope, some, some new technology for people with dementia. What would you like to see happen? I would like it to make people be able to stay in their house longer when they've been diagnosed. It's difficult at the moment because you've got two separate running um, systems. One is Apple, one is Android. It needs to be fairly cheap so they can afford it and also it needs to be something that they can understand. The younger generation can understand technology a lot better than myself. The older generation than myself really do struggle so it really does need thinking about and make it user friendly. But we've got big hopes that technology can make a difference. I do hope so, I really do. Eamon, it's been great talking to you. Thanks very much. Thank you.